everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new here my name is Courtney and today I am in a new place me and my son got our own apartment so I will be doing a home tour a little bit later but I'll just like show you a little bit now anyway I'm I'm just gonna get started I have some new products that I really really love a lot of them it's a mix of like luxury and um, drugstore which I find work very well together but there are certain luxury brands that I just love and they're so beautiful and uh, yeah just gonna show you some of my favorites today mm, well, let's go first I am gonna start off with this is a primer from Chanel in Mimosa it's got an SPF of 40 it's uh, from the Le Blanc line it's so 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 pretty it has like a slight luminescent cast of like gold and pink and a little bit of violet, which you know I love from being a teenage goth many, 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 many years ago. I'm just using natural light. You may hear a lot of noise in the background because I live on a noisy street, but it makes me feel better because I'm from the city and traffic noise is like a lullaby to me, so it's for my foundation, I am going in with the Chanel Vida Lumiere. I have been using MAC Face and Body. This, I think, is really, really close, but a little bit more luxurious. It's sheer. It's got a beautiful dew to it, but I like to be really dewy, so I'm going to go in with and mix it with the Lumi Lotion. So, so nice. A little dabble, do ya? I find with luxury brands, they are at a higher price, 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 point, price point, but you need to use so little, so I feel like this is gonna last me a, a year, at least. So I don't mind putting a little bit more money down if I know that it's a good quality and it's gonna last me. And it gets me excited to wake up and put makeup on because I know it's going to feel really nice and it smells really nice. Anyway. Still using the good old, good old MAC Full Coverage Concealer in two shades. One for color correction under the eyes, a little bit of darkness. I like to take care of. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush, firm brush, go in with that slightly lighter color and just take care of the puff as much as I can. I know this is, that's just my face shape. So it's just me. So that's what I do. Probably gonna be sweating through this entire thing because I had to shut the windows because of all the traffic, but I'm sure you'll still hear it. And I just take my finger and blend it out because I don't want to wipe it away. Just want to place it. And if there's any like hard corners, just by tapping. That'll blend that out for you. Okay. Okay. On to my bronzer. Okay, so I didn't set my powder. I didn't set my foundation yet with my powder because I'm gonna keep on going with some creams and then I'll go over it and set where needed, usually underneath the eyes. I've been wanting this product for a really long time. This is the Soleil Ton de Chanel. It's a bronzer, but Look at the size of it. You get so much in it. You get one, one ounce of product in this. This is like an heirloom. I think it retails for $50, but 
you get a lot and you get to see this on your vanity so I like that I'm using a Mac 188 brush I'm swirling it around this comes in one shade so it's not really universal but for darker skins it is really beautiful to use as a highlight I just warm up around the forehead and just give some warmth, warmth to the face, do a little contour under the chin. I think I may even throw a little bit on my eyes. I love doing that because it's just a quick way if you just want to five minute makeup, throw a little bit of mascara. I always put liner underneath, brows, lip, mascara, you're good. Mascara, mascara, mascara. Like that just makes me feel good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. The blush that I'm using is also from Chanel. It's number 23, it's a stick. cream blush still using a 188 brush I love these because it picks up a little bit of product applies a little bit of product so you're not like oh god that's a lot I'll swatch it it looks pretty intense I don't know if you can well, not really it looks pretty intense in the stick itself but not when you put it on so it's a nice sheer formula. Let's put that all over. Ooh. Okay. Now I'm going to, Chanel didn't sponsor this, obviously. I just went ham because I wanted to pick up some Chanel products because I really do love Chanel. So the compact that I'm using, I always wanted like a little Chanel compact in my bag. Makes me feel good. This color is 22 Beige Rose and it's the Ultra Wear Flawless Compact Foundation de la Tente Ultra Tint. You just set under my eyes with it. Again, it's really sheer, so it's not going to add a lot of coverage and a lot of texture. I'm kind of going around the blush area because I want to keep this a little bit creamy, a little bit dewier. This is a brush I got from the drugstore. It's an e.l.f. brush. I really, really like it. It's just such a beautiful shape, and it feels really good on the skin. It Allows you to get into smaller areas, but also larger areas you can do pretty quickly. I saw this the other day. A friend of mine showed it to me. She was wearing it. It was the most beautiful highlight I have ever seen. I was like, please show it to me. And this is from Lancome. This is the dual finish highlighter in Sparkling Peche. you can see that but again this is probably $40 price point I got it because they were in gift so you get this really cute bag and a bunch of product so I felt it was totally worth it but I would have bought it anyway because you need so little of the product but it is so Gorgeous, so highlighting. Let's do that on the brow bone, top of the cheeks. I'm using that same e.l.f. brush because, like I said, it is great. Oh, I could eat this. Now let's do some shadow. Oh, I have a beauty mark here, and. 
whenever I use foundation, it gets covered up and then it looks like I have a lot more foundation on. So I go in, this is an old Mac brow pencil. I think it's in spiked or stud. I will go back in, nope, that's not it. I'll go back in and just put a dab over each of them so it looks more like natural skin. Go for the good old Max Sculpt and Shape Powder that I always use in Definitive. I finally hit pan, but I have had this for years. It may be gross to someone, some people, but I like to use stuff until it is completely dead. So I take just a fluffier, smaller brush, throw that underneath the eye. That makes me feel like me. If I don't have that shadow under the eyes, I don't feel like myself. That's why I hate when people, some people do my makeup. I prefer doing it myself. Because they'll just do shadows on top and nothing underneath and then it just, it's not me. A little bit, same brush, outer corner. A little bit on the inner corner. I feel like this is my silhouette. This is where I start from. And then anything else, you just pop on. You can use any other color. And if you find that it just gives you a really great eye shape. Going in with, again, a Sculpt and Shape palette. I highly recommend palettes, something that's multi-purpose. I put this one together many, many years ago, but I think they do have palettes now of the Sculpt and Shape. Highly recommend, comes with your highlighters, your deeper shades, your neutral tones, your mid-tone shades, all in one. And I've had this, oh my God, it's got, and I use it every day. It must be over 10 years old. Again, that may be gross, but I also eat out of the garbage. Hey, if there's a french fry tray on top and nobody's done, fair game. Yes. How much shadows am I gonna use? I'm going into the shop later. I am a tattoo artist as well as a makeup artist, so I have, I don't wanna go too ham on the makeup, but, and this is gonna be what I'm wearing today, a uh, Bauhaus t-shirt that I just cut, um, that I got from a good friend of mine, and some jeans, I'll show you the outfit after, but, I don't know what to wear, I feel like I usually do this makeup, and uh, I wanna show you something different. Let me see what other palettes I have. Hold, please. I feel like I might as well show you the palette that I got in gift from Lancome. I mainly just wanted the bag. I don't know why, I just think it's really, really cute. I got the blue one. It's got the blue inside. There's Lancome. But it's all about like France and Paris and, and just typical loving French everything. So, I'll show you So I got this palette that are cute. I like that it doesn't come with, sorry. I like that it doesn't come with one of those spongy things. I find they're so wasteful, so thank you, Lancome. This is very nice. It's a really pretty palette. It's got, um, one matte shade that I think I will use a lot because I can use that instead of the definitive and it comes all in one palette. Um, so let's do that. Might as well. And it's free. So if you spend $37.50, you get free shit. You should get this. It's a highlighter. Okay. 
I am going in, actually, not with a brush. I'm going to use my finger on that mid-tone goodness. And just pop that right in the center of the lid. I really like that because you can build up the opacity by just popping it right there, but by just throwing a little bit over that darker color that I did, it doesn't completely cover that color. So you still get that depth. Ooh, God, that's pretty. Okay. So with, oh, it comes with two matte shades. So you can go with the, the lighter matte or the darker matte, but right next to that matte color is a shimmery color. I'm a sucker for shimmer. But I'm gonna, I don't want it too much. When you pick up with your finger, kind of heats up in your hand and you pick up a lot more. But for my brow bone, I'm trying not to go back to the 90s. And I just want a light coating of it. This is a really nice palette. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else love the sound of traffic at night? Comment down below. Okay. And going in with the deepest color right here, that same brush, and I'm just gonna go over what I did underneath for my liner. Yes. Immediately, yes. Yes, I love that. You don't put a lot on, it's very pigmented. Good job, Lancome. For a free giveaway, that's a really nice palette. Thank you. Uh, should I do liner? Maybe a light color inside, yes, yes. If I can find it since I moved, I can't find anything. Who else loves moving? Okay. This is an old OCC white color, white color, uh, white pencil in feathered. Can't get this anymore. I think there is that one Australian site that you can, but if you are an OCC lover like myself, I would do anything to find more of it. But you can use any white pencil. Sorry, but Chanel just came out with one and it is really good and lasts all day. And it's a turn up one, so you don't need a sharpener, which is nice because I had to sharpen my lip pencil today with my souvenir from San Francisco and Alcatraz, and that isn't good for makeup because I also used, I guess, eyeliners in it. So my spice lip pencil turned into a like dirty, it made it dirty gray. And that was a look. I care not to repeat. I still love that pencil charger though. <laughs> Maybe I'll clean it out. Okay, so that just opens the eyes. Mm, hello. Okay. Brows. Brow, brow, brow pencil. Steady pencil, and that look terrible. So I've been using Librow, Librow. The lat, uh, the brow serum. I always use the Lilash, lash. Again, not sponsored. I've just been using it for years, and it makes your lashes look long and scrumptious. And I started using it in my brows. I was hesitant. I didn't think that that would actually work, but it actually has, and I'm very happy because I always wanted to use. I don't know why I'm doing this. I always wanted to use brow set. I just find it really fun to watch people brushing their brows. It's like a ASMR thing. I don't know. So now I can do that. I'm really excited. Okay. I'm using, again, very old taupe pencil. It's kind of like a medium shade because I'm letting my natural brow color come in because I'm having that moment. Sometimes I like to bleach them, but right for right now, I, I like a... a bolder brow. I 
going to go uh, above a little bit below and then wherever I have those little holidays missing hairs uh, I just fill in right there. You don't have to go through the whole brow unless you really want to. I don't like a very curated brow. I like it to be a little bit messy, so I just use the side of the pencil and just throw it on. Effortless. Somebody did my brows the other day and I was like, that's really pretty, but it's just too perfect, so I had to fuck them up a little bit. Not the person, just the brows. But some people like that. That's cool. Something out there for everybody. <sighs> also, with your Lancome gift, they give you, and I always wanted to try this, is the um, Lancome Seal Booster XL. So this is the primer for your mascara. I love a good primer for mascara because it protects your lashes, one. It gives a layer for the mascara that you're putting on afterwards to build on top of so you're not there forever building up your mascara. And it coats it lightly with like a white veil of color and then I can see where my lashes are so that I can attack them with black mascara. See? I don't know if you can see it, but I love a good lash primer. Highly recommend. This is the first time I'm using this one. But I have a feeling because I do use Lancome's Monsieur Big mascara, which I really do like. So, and they've been doing mascaras forever and I feel like they have a really nice library of different looks and there are die-hard fans out there for Lancome mascara so I have a feeling it's gonna be very good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going in with Le Volume du Chanel mascara Another one of my favorites as I poke myself in the eye because you're not there forever. That's a big pet peeve of mine, trying to build up your lashes. I ain't got a lot of time. Who got time for that? Not me. One coat. Boom. All right, I'm just gonna fast forward through this. There. That was two coats, if you can see. So pretty. For brow set, NYX Control Freak. I don't know what that life's about. Anyway, so I just gently, because I don't want to brush through the color that I already put down. So I'm just lightly coating it. And I find that this one is really good. It's, you can find it in the drugstore and it really holds the brows in place. My brows are all over the place. So I'll brush up here, but then here I want it to cover that bald spot. And then here I'll go up just to give a little bit more of the arch. And then this uh, at the tail end, I kind of swipe this way. Still working on it. So up. And then a little bit down. At the arch, I'll go a little bit up. And then to the side for the ends. Okay. I think that's pretty good for skin, eyes, brows, mascara. Oh, this is the lip I've been using and Per usual, it's in my bag.
pretty much the same nude lip that I have been using, but I find out about you guys. Whenever I go for nude colors, I'll do the same kind of nude and then that completely washes me out, like same color tones. Now, I am still using Spice Lip Pencil and then the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top. And I said that that was a very expensive lipstick. It was, I think, $32, but it's just been lasting me a long time, so. And then I put on this gorgeous nugget of a color. This one is the Rouge Coco Gloss in 748. I'll show you what it does. Looks very vibrant in the tube, and it is. You can pair it with other reds, other oranges, but if you throw this shit over, this was the pencil that I used, the Alcatraz one, so I have to make sure that there's no darker blue in it. If you put it over a nude, it makes it the perfect nude for me. I found it, I've cracked the code. That was big. So I line my lips. I go. I definitely go over my lips because I like the look of that. I go over my lip line. And then I'll color in the corners because that makes it a little bit more like... I ain't gonna try to find the words for things anymore. It's been a long couple weeks. Et voila. And then I take the little tuck just in the center. That way it's a little bit lighter in the center, a little bit deeper in the corners. You can go directly from the wand. This is a really beautiful wand too. So nice and plush. But I don't want to fuck up the color in here because if I go right on top of it, I'll take some of this nudie color and put it back into this and it's going to dirty it up. And this to me makes me happy when I just look and see how beautiful and bright it is. So I put a little bit on the back of my hand. I love that. Now I have it all over my head, but that is the makeup look. So I will jump away for a second, put on some jewels and gems, and then I will show you in the new dirty mirror in the new home and show you a little bit around the place because I'm very happy. This is my first apartment that I've had alone. I'm here with my son. Uh, but just us and it's really scary, but and I'm like 42 years old, but Finally did it and I'm excited about it So I'll show you a little bit around and then if you're interested I can do a home tour because I don't know about you guys But I love watching that on YouTube and seeing how other people live. I'll be right back Okay, so I just filmed that and <laughs> I didn't actually film it, but that's my new setup my grandmother's, oh, let's not call it, sewing machine, oh, okay, uh, chair, one of my prized possessions as well is my Dave Grohl pillow, and then just a little quick glimpse of the living room, favorite poster, subway poster said Nancy in Italian, Couch, not leather, a dirty trunk. This is actually a dragon rug, which I love. That is actually Houdini's radio. My dad got that from when he was working at the phone company and after Houdini's wife passed away, um, he helped them move out. So uh, they gave him that and um, I think it's pretty fantastic. Uncle painted this. He's an amazing painter, Wayne Jaeger. Okay. So this stairs leading down to the door. This is Brigitte Bardot. 
from the 60s. Me and my dad have the same poster. Uh, we can both love it. This is the outfit for today. These are 501s. I think I got them from the Real Real Bauhaus t shirt that David gave me. And that's it. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you care about me in any way, please subscribe to my channel because uh, subscriptions really matter. So if you could hit that subscription button, I'd really, really appreciate it. And uh, let me comment below if there's anything else that you want to see or what you enjoyed about this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.